I'm in St Chad's Church in Shrewsbury and there's a party going on, as you may be able to hear from the background. And I've got with me Maggie Love, who's going to tell me what's going on here. Uh, we're celebrating St Chad's Church's 225th birthday. That means that's the first time that the doors to this magnificent building were opened to the town of Shrewsbury. The organisation that I work with is Shrewsbury Heritage and we have lots of volunteers from that group dressed in costume to honour the different periods from Georgian, Regency and Victorian as we're covering that that part of the history. There are tours of the Hatchments, memorials, the building itself, going back to Old St Chad's, there's a light show and there's even a tour up to the ringing chamber where you can pull the bells. Which I'm hoping to do very soon. You're going to have a great time doing that. I must say you look very, uh, very good in your costume, Maggie, if I may say oh, so. Thank you very much. Yes, it's very impressive. It's, uh, it's, I mean, it's a church that's a big highlight of a visit to Shrewsbury, isn't it? I believe it is. It's positioned most particularly because of it being right up on the top of right, the quarry gates. And it's been captured superbly by our local cake maker, Ali, who has delivered a tremendous, monumentous cake that looks just like the building. I, I did catch sight of it just now. There wasn't a lot left, though. No, but that's the whole idea of cake, isn't it? That you eat it. <laughs> You're right. Um, So let's come to uh, John Patrick, who's the um, chairman of the Friends of St. Chad's. Um, Tell me a bit about the the history, will you, John? Well, this church, as you just heard, uh, dates back to 1792. It was built uh, on the actual town wall uh, then because the old St. Chad's church fell down, or at least the tower fell down, with such an enormous thump that virtually the whole of the nave uh, was destroyed in 1788. Interestingly, Thomas Telford, the very same, had been um, requested as a young man, he was 23, to survey what was going wrong with the tower. It was noticed to be bulging and he said it should be uh, evacuated immediately. It wasn't. Nobody took any notice of this upstart engineer. <laughs> but he, unfortunately, he was right. Two weeks later, it fell down. But at f- fortunately, four o'clock in the morning. Wow. Eventually, within actually two and a half years, they were building this new Georgian house. It's a circ- Georgian church, pardon me. It's a circular nave place, a hundred foot across. The church tower itself is uh, tacked on the outside as 150 foot high and it is immensely um, beautiful and has been preserved by numerous of its, uh, many of its occupants over the couple of centuries and is still here and it looks much as it did then 